besties welcome back to the channel so i did watch lovecraft country this morning um i should have already come and made this video but morning for me started at about 12 30 so sorry um <laughs> uh i just don't feel very good the fires are crazy and the smoke is so bad and i've been coughing a lot and i just don't feel very good so i'm sorry about the late video but i know you're going to forgive me and let's go ahead and jump into it Lovecraft Country, episode five of season one. Guys, this might be my favorite episode yet. It was so good. If you've not seen it, I'm going to spoiler the shit out of this. So get out of here and then come back and watch this because that helps my channel grow. Okay, so at the end of the last episode, we had seen um, Atticus's dad, Montrose, kill that Indian oh I don't want to call her an Indian that's so disrespectful I don't know if she's Mayan or what but that that princess that native princess she seemed like a princess to me that's probably not even the right word to her priestess maybe better okay so he had just killed her and it was crazy so the the video opens with he's like is this how it started honestly it might have started with um, uh, uh, her name just literally fled out of my head. Um, you guys, where is she? Ruby, Ruby. Ruby is played by such an amazing actress. Her name is Wunmi, Wunmi Musaku. Uh, that is bad. I'm sure I said it wrong, and I'm sorry. Um, she is such a good actress. I love the way she's playing Ruby. And Ruby, if you remember from last week, she was doing it with William, that fine little Aryan dude. And he he's like all about her. He just is all about her. And she realizes he wants to use her in some way, but I think that there is actually something more going on there. And there is... And we'll get to that. Although, honestly, I think there's even more going on that I'm just not aware of yet. So she wakes up in his bed, sleeping in this gorgeous round bed, which to me, how can more than one person sleep in a round bed comfortably? Unless it's enormous and you're never on the edges, right? It just doesn't seem practical. Uh, it's kind of like a heart bed. Where do your feet go? Do you have to sleep with your feet touching? I'm not about that. Okay, anyway, off the bed subject. She wakes up and she goes like this. Oh, which honestly is what I do when I have a fresh set of nails on that I love. I always wake up and look at them and go. And then I go <laughs> get up and move on with my day. I know it's crazy, but I love my nails. Um, so she does this and she sees a white hand. And she freaks out. And she gets up and she starts seeing that she is a white woman. And she's a, she's a fine-looking white woman, but honestly, I think Ruby is cuter. So if you're going to change into somebody else, I would pick somebody even cuter than I already am, right? But this woman is fine. She's fine. Um, I don't know the actress who plays her. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Her name is Jamie Newman. And um, I enjoyed her performance as Ruby playing Hillary. Um, it was kind of crazy, y'all. Uh, so she's freaking out and William comes in and he, tr he doesn't even try to explain it to her. He carries her downstairs and she's like freaking, like her body's creaking and groaning and like you can see a hand like under her skin. And, um, he puts her on this plastic and I start getting scared like he is going to kill her. And it does look like he's going to kill her. But what's happening is that the skin of that white woman um, that she's masquerading as is falling off of her. And it, it, it apparently is really unpleasant. And it looks unpleasant. The special effects they use for this, which must be CGI, is... Wow, amazing. I really, really love the transformations. And you get to see it several times in this video, in this video, in this episode. So then we get back to Atticus and his dad is 
in the room, in his room, at um, Tisha, Tish, Tish, Letitia, but I, what does Ruby always call her? Tisha? Tish? Something. I'll, uh, it'll work, come to me. She, uh, Letty, she calls her Letty. Why do I want to call her Tish? Letty. So she's at, they're at Letty's boarding, boarding house and they come into, um, guys, I suck with names. It'll come to me. Montrose's room. And, and maybe they were actually in the priestess's room, but where they had left them, I guess. I don't know whose room it really was. And he tells them that she's gone and that the pages are gone. He got rid of them. And Tick understands instantly, and he starts beating the fuck out of his dad. It was not good. So um, Letitia calls for all the other people who rent there to come help her. They all come in. They pull him off. He leaves. It was a very intense scene. Uh, him and Letitia catch up with each other a little later. They make up. Everything's okay. But she is, like, freaking out about him. And she want, he wants to know, do you still have pictures of the pages? And Letty still thinks that she just he just let her go. And uh, Atticus has to tell her later, uh, dude, he didn't let her go. She's gone. She's like, oh my God. Okay. So once, then we sort of, you go back and forth. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to Ruby's story. Ruby wakes up from her ordeal, which is harrowing. She's laying in the, the, the skin of, of this other woman. And he, she's like, I don't want to die. And he takes the knife and plunges it into her, rips her open, and then pulls her out of the skin. She wakes up later after having been cleaned up and whatnot. And he explains to her what he did, how she looked like that, and that she can have anything she wants. And he will help her. He just needs a favor. So she decides that she's going to go get that job at the... At the department store, uh, I want to say it was Lord and Taylor's. As this woman, as this, you know, pretending to be this white woman, Hillary. And so she goes there, she gets the job. She realizes that the, the dude that's the manager is a creep upon creeps. He fucking hates N-word bitches. Um, and she is irritated by the the other black girl that works here because and nobody was really getting it because they don't know she's a black woman right but she feels insulted by this woman as this woman has not educated herself she has not furthered herself in any way she's just bowing her head to the man and taking the job that she can take because and taking their bullshit at the same time which to a, to a large degree you do have to take the bullshit but if you come with some self-improvement, they have to respect you at some point, or at least begrudgingly. And that's that's Ruby's point. You know, like, I have been to school. I have bettered myself. I am more appropriate for this job than this little girl is, but she got it. I wanted it. So there's also a jealousy there, but she's mad at this girl. She's like, yeah, where did you, you know, she's asking about high school. I didn't finish high school. I went to seventh grade. Oh, did you get some accounting degrees over at this little school? She goes, I didn't even know they had those. And from that moment, Ruby's mad at her. She's like, little bitch, I, I cannot respect you because you don't develop yourself. And I can see that that's why she's upset with her. And she keeps trying to sort of push her. To be better but she's not doing it right she's being really mean to the girl and so i feel bad for the girl um and ruby doesn't start to feel bad for her until she sees the manager you know try to take what don't belong to him we'll say it like that but the girl gets away i'm not sure that she comes back to the store or not but uh he calls Ruby into his office as Hillary and says that he wants to talk to her about the other girl. I cannot think of her name right now. Um, I'm sorry. And I don't want to look at this anymore. Sorry. I just looked at it. 
Anyway, he says, I think we should get rid of her. And she says, well, I want to, hold on one second. Sorry, guys, the allergies are bad. Um, she says, I have to give my notice because I want to fuck you so bad. And I just can't because it's not professional. But if I don't work here anymore, I can fuck your brains out, blah, blah, blah. And she licks him on the neck, which I was like, gross. Which, of course, wouldn't be gross if you were attracted to the dude. But I'm not. And he's already an asshole. And even if you were hot, as soon as I know you're an asshole, it's like, eh. So, anyway. Um, so, she's doing this timed perfectly so that once she gets him in a compromising position that she can control him she will turn back into herself and he will know that he just got fucked up the ass by a black woman although those are not the words she used she used his vernacular which i again do not enjoy um so then she goes home home to the braithwaite mansion okay because that's where she's been staying ever since the potion night the night of potions the night of potions that's what we'll call it so she gets there and she's looking for william and he walks in the door and or she's already home and cleaned up and she she's walking into the room and he walks in the house and she goes i'm getting a little sweaty so i'm gonna try to finish this she says where have you been and he, or something like that and he goes Hold on a minute. Oh, she asked him about the basement because she wants to know what's in the basement. It's the only room that locks. And in about 30 seconds, you know what goes on in the basement because he says, give me just a minute, hon. And he starts to walk away and you see the <laughs> happening and you know he's changing, that it's not really William. And it's never been William because it's always been that Braithwaite chick, um, Christine or Christina. Christina, um, she's been William the whole time. And that's where the episode ends. Oh, it was so good, you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Freaking love this show. I literally cannot wait. Tell me what you thought when you saw these revelations. What you thought when you saw Tick fighting his dad. Oh, oh, my God. My favorite part. I almost forgot. And I meant to save it for last, so that's perfect. There is a storyline in this episode where you really get to know more about Atticus's dad. He goes, you see a knock at the door and this really gorgeous, uh, I want to say like maybe Hispanic or Latin uh, man opens and you can tell right away that he is probably homosexual and there he is standing there. Um, Montrose, I always want to say Mordecai or something, but it's Montrose. And he pulls him in and gives him a hug. And there's this whole storyline running throughout the episode where he opens up. Like at first, they, he just wants to fuck him really hard because he just got beat up by his son. He's got all these raw emotions and he needs an outlet. And this man just opens up and lets him pour it onto him. And then over the course of the rest of the episode, Every time you catch into him, you see Montrose just opening up like a flower. He's surrounded by all these people who are living this free, beautiful life inside this horrible 1950s era America. And they are loud and flamboyant and beautiful and sexy and amazing. And they're doing this show at a drag club because they're all like drag queens. And there at the end, he just gets up and he starts twirling and dancing and he's kissing his lover. And they are just having this most beautiful and amazing connection, right? Like that he's finally allowing himself to be free and be the man he wants to be. And you can see how the years of oppressing himself and holding himself back, back and the anger and hate that's caused in him, how it's just falling away from him. And it was just in this episode of horrors, it was the most beautiful thing. And I still feel a little choked up by the beauty of that fucking awesome moment there at the end when they're just dancing and kissing and holding each other. It was, it was love. It was beautiful. It was passion. It was sexy. And I just loved it. Okay, guys, let me know what you thought about all the things I talked about from last night's episode of Lovecraft Country. 
sorry and we will see you soon for another video on something talk to you then don't forget my buttons and leave me lots of comments Bye.